Hey everybody, welcome to the Mana Leak. I'm John as always, and it's release weekend. That means we've got a box. We've got a box of both of the Gatewatch sitting here. We're not going to do any analysis of this box, not terribly. This is just for fun, of course. I don't do this too often. I don't crack packs for fun all that often. But once a set release, I get a box and I open that box. We're going to open this box, see what's in there. I'll give some brief commentary on what the rares are. We're not really going to look at the commons or uncommons unless there's some of the massively expensive foil uncommons that are out there. But we're going to crack into this box. We're going to open all 36 packs and we're going to see the 12 expedition lands that are in here. Or hopefully one. I still have yet to get an expedition land. So let's hope. Everything would be awesome if I got an expedition wasteland. But we'll have to see. All right. Pack number one. Let's see what we get. At the back, we've got a Scion token and a land and a Remorseless Punishment. Remorseless Punishment is a card that's very interesting. I am actually excited to play it. Uh, I know a lot of people have said it's not that good, and I fully understand the whole browbeat thing where your opponent's going to choose the one that uh, is the absolute best for them and you're, is the absolute worst for you. But I think there's just so many cases where they're not going to have that great of a choice either way. So I, I want to play with it. I want to see how it works out. Um, but I understand the controversy about it. Pack number two. Pack number two, we get ourselves a Kozilex. Oh, dear. Let's uh, take a look at that. That's a foil Kozilex return. That's uh, that's half the price of the box right there. I think that's about 50 bucks. That means we still have a rare. The rare is just Jory N. That's not too exciting, but uh, starting off with a foil Kozilex return is uh, pretty darn okay by me. Pretty okay. Hopefully that is just uh, an omen of things to come, and it just keeps getting better, and that wasn't the... Uh, the best already. But let's see. Pack number three. Pack number three. We've got ourselves a Stonehaven Outfitter. The uh, the terrible, terrible, terrible card that it is. Uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be underpowered cube playable or something. But Stonehaven Outfitter. Next up, I keep hitting the camera. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm not in a great setup today. I, I need to figure out a new box setup with the way that my uh, place is laid out. This pack at the back, we've got ourselves an Eldrazi Mimic. It is consistently inconsistent. Uh, that is a fantastic draft review of that card. Uh, but yeah, Eldrazi Mimic. Pack number, I've already lost count. Is this four? Maybe it's five. Pack number whatever it is, we've got a World Breaker, Mythic number two. Pretty darn happy with Mythic number two already. Uh, World Breaker, super not exciting card. I, 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 yeah, I, I wanted to do something more. I like Eldrazi that do really weird things. This doesn't do that much weird. It's just a, a really good card, but pretty happy to see it. Next pack. Next pack, we've got ourselves a Kalatos, Mythic number three. Mythic number three from this box, and one that I'm very excited by. I love me a Kalatos. I have seen disgusting things happen with this card. Unfortunately, not on my side of the board. Uh, but fortunately, not on the other side of the board either. It's always been people around me who've been playing it. Uh, but Kalatos, super happy to have that. Uh, Mythic count at three already, and we're five packs in, six packs in. I like this box. I like this box a lot. Next up. Next up, we've got ourselves Drana's Chosen. Make all of the zombies. I played with this at pre-release, my second pre-release. I had a foil one, and it was solid. Let me tell you, just an army of zombies. So, so, so good. Next up. Next up, I feel an expedition. This is it. This is the expedition pack. Token. Land. Mundus Vanguard. I tried. I really tried there. Uh, I put all of my hope into that pack, and uh, we got rewarded with a Mundus Vanguard. Womp womp. Next up, let's see what Gideon has here. Let's see. That pack is uh, tightly sealed there. 
We have a Deep Fathom Skulker. What does that guy do? That's the guy who makes unblockable uh, Ophidians. Right, right, right. Deep Fathom Skulker. Next up, Gideon. Again, what do you got this time? This time, Gideon has for us a Seagate Wreckage. Pretty solid card. I think it's got a bit of value behind it. I've heard people say it's uh, pretty fantastic. I would definitely like to play with it sometime. Uh, I hate being in draft and just not having enough cards left. So being able to get a, a double card draw here and there would be fantastic. All right. Let's go back to Jace. Let's see what Jace has for us. Jace has for us... That's not it. <laughs> Our second Eldrazi Mimic of the box. Uh, well, they started off exciting, getting uh, multiple Mythics. Now we're getting multiple Eldrazi Mimics. I hope that's the last one. I hope. It looks kind of like uh, there's a little microscopic creature called, a, I, th I want to say, a water bear or something like that. A uh, tiny little microscopic creature. It looks like that. Anyways, that's your science fact for the day. Um, next up, we've got another Jace. Let's see what Jace has for us. Jace has for us a Foil Swamp and a Goblin Dark Dwellers. Uh, I haven't checked Goblin Dark Dwellers value recently. I know there was a lot of hype behind it. Uh, I don't know if it'll if it'll stay, but Goblin Dark Dwellers and Foil Swamp is always nice. All right, back to Gideon. Come on, Gideon. We get Zendikar Resurgent. Gideon failed us miserably. Uh, that's just bad. Just bad. Not even cube playable. There's just so many better cube options for that effect. Let's give Chandra a shot. Come on, Chandra. Give me something good. Ah, it's even her token on the back. We get second Mundus Vanguard. All right, that's exciting. I would prefer multiple Kozilek's returns or multiple... Eldrazi Displacers, not multiple Mundas Vanguards, but so be it. Back to Gideon. Back to Gideon. Gideon has for us a Bearer of Silence. A fun little card. I definitely want to play with it in draft. Bearer of Silence. Haven't had a Nissa yet, or at least not one that I've noticed she was on the pack. Let's see. Uh, maybe she's in the pack herself. Is she in the pack herself? She's not. Wait, Seed Guardian. Oh, it's Foil Seed Guardian. I was like, that's not a rare at all. Uh, Hissing Quagmire, black, green, land. Decent. Probably going to cube at some point of mine. And Foil Seed Guardian. Seed Guardian's kind of cool. Chandra, what you got? What do you got? You got Glade Heart Cavalry. Support six. Oh, support six. How rarely you will happen. Jace. Let's see what Jace has for us. This pa this box was definitely a, a very top-heavy box. Hopefully the bottom is heavy, too. Or, or hopefully we hit one more card that's good. Uh, is a Reality Smasher good? Actually, I think it is. Um, I feel like that one has a bit of value behind it. I can't quite remember, though. It's not a high-value one, but uh, I think it's maybe not a dollar. So that's good. All right, Gideon. You've had a lot of misses. What do you got this time? This time, Gideon has for us a foil Iona's Blessing. Yay. And an overwhelming denial. It's a counterspell, but sometimes it's a bad counterspell. So, oh well. Nissa, what you got, Nissa? I really want a Nissa, actually. I have a Chandra from the set, but I'd really like a Nissa. We get a foil, a Coom Fire Seeker, fl ah, Flame a Seeker, and a Stone Forge Masterwork. Womp, 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 womp. So the fact that I haven't opened an expedition yet also means that I still don't actually know where it is. I don't know if it replaces the foil or if it replaces the basic. No, it can't replace the basic. Not sure where it happens. Hopefully this pack we get an expedition. Gideon. Do it. Get an expedition. We get a Corrupted Crossroads. Fun enough card. That's my second one, and I, I definitely would like a play set of those. So uh, halfway there. Nissa, you're all about lands. Give me a good land. 
Give me a good land. Nissa gives me a Sylvan Advocate. All right. Well, it's about lands. It wants lands. It's not quite the card I wanted, though. Gideon, bearer of terrible cards. What you got, Gideon? Gideon has... Ha <laughs> ha! Kozilek's Return! Sorry, Gideon, for all of the bad things that I've said about you. Kozilek's Return number two out of this box. First non-foil one. What can I say? It's amazing. Next up, we got Gideon. Gideon, bearer of awesome cards. Gideon, do it again. Do it again. Do two in a row. Do two in a row. Ooh, I haven't seen the Shadows over Innistrad uh, advertising yet. Is that Jace? Looking very dark? Interesting. Anyways, what does Gideon get us this time? He gets us a foil canopy gorger. Well, that's bad. And a vile redeemer. Eh, all right. Well, I still have to give Gideon props for that second Kozilek's return. Chandra, pull your weight. What do you got? Chandra gets us a Captain's Claws. Ew! I have had so many people fight me on that card saying that it is good and it's amazing and it'll do awesome things. I still think it is a stone cold F. Next up, we've got Nyssa getting near the end of the box. I think we've got maybe 10 packs left. What does Nyssa get us? Nyssa gets us a Needle Spires. Good old Needle Spires. Well, Nyssa gets us land cards. We're getting closer. Gideon, what do you got for us this time, Gid? This time, Gideon has... <laughs> Yay! Well, at least that's the first, like, literally horrifyingly bad card. So, uh, yay, call the gate watch. Next up, another Gideon. Seems like there's a lot of Gideons in this box. I don't think I've had a lot of Jaces. Next up, uh, Foil Slaughter Drone. That's actually kind of a cool foil. The border really uh, really pops on that a bit. The rare, Sifter Skulls. Sure thing. And hey, there was a Storm Chaser Mage in there. That's a couple bucks. I've probably missed some Storm Chaser Mages already. I don't super care about a $2 on common for uh, excitement and entertainment value. If it was the foil, then that would be a different question. Next up, sorry, as I just mute my speaker so that those sounds stop happening. Next up, we have an Oath of Jace and another Storm Chaser Mage. All right, maybe I should count how many Storm Chaser Mages I've gotten. Oath of Jace, fine enough. Next up, we've got ourselves Anissa, so a land. Land, 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 land. <laughs> it was, in fact, a land. Uh, don't expect that to always work out, but Ruin of Orin Reef, fine enough. Could see it going in my cube at some point if I tried to support Colorless. All right, Chandra. Let's have it happen. Right here. Right here. Expedition. Please. Thought not Seer. Well, I'll take a $15 card, I guess. I think it's 15 Maybe it's even 20 now. Uh, card prices are hard to keep track of now here in Canada because the dollar is so bad compared to the American dollar that all of our prices have gone up considerably um, because a box has even gone up in price. So I think this is 15 on Star City. I don't even know what it is here in Canada right now. But Thought Knots here. We have, let me count, five packs left. Five packs left. Let's uh, let's make them good. Hey, there's a couple Jaces in there too. Nissa, Nissa is the land pack. All right, Nissa, let's do it. Foil Strider Harness and Sphinx of the Final Word, another Mythic. Yay! There's a lot of Mythics in this box. I'm pretty happy with this box, even if there is no Expedition uh, in the remaining packs here. All right, Jace, you've been missing. What do you got? What do you got? Fall of the Titans. Yay, that's fun. I thought that was Mythic for some reason. It's rare. Oh, well. Fall of the Titans. Fantastic and two-headed giant. Scales down badly from there, but still all around decent. Gideon, bearer of good cards. What do you got this time? This time, Gideon has for us... 
An Eldrazi Obligator, fine enough. Fine enough. Jace and Chandra. Let's leave Jace to the end. Chandra, last, second last pack. Last pack of Chandra. What does she have for us? She has an Oath of Gideon. Exciting. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Jace has something good for us to end on. All right, Jace. Let's do it. Let's do it, Jace. Be a good card. Be a good card. Jace gets us <laughs> Oath of Chandra. All right, so uh, not an exciting card to end off with, um, but a pretty good box, all told. Pretty good box. Double uh, Kozilex Return, Sphinx of the Final Word, Thought Not Seer. I'm going to give a, uh, a recap of the high-value cards, the cards that are worth kind of more than $5 uh, right now. So that's going to about wrap it up for this box of Oath of the Gatewatch. Surprisingly few cards that were more than $5, but the ones that were were uh, quite a bit more, especially with the Canadian dollar considered. $75 for that uh, uh, Kozilex return in foil currently at face-to-face -face games, which is the kind of go-to uh, retailer here in Canada. They're basically the Star City Games of Canada. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the box opening. I enjoy doing it every uh, set release. I'm not a huge fan of opening packs for no value, but I'll do it for the channel and I'll do it for the first box of the set. Definitely let me know what you got in your box. Any awesome pulls, any, uh, you know, multiple awesome mythics or awesome foils. What expeditions did you get uh, so that I can uh, uh, live vicariously through those who actually do open expeditions? But let me know in the comments below. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Leak. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. And you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Leak. You've already found me here on YouTube. You've got the comment section down below. Please make use of that, as I said. If you like the videos, please click the little thumbs up icon to let me know, the world know, let everybody know that you like the videos, as well as subscribe to my videos so that you'll be the first to know when the latest Crack a Pack Tuesday, Wacky Wednesday, Top 10 Thursday, Spiky Saturday, Box Opening, Loot Crate Unboxing, and all the other various videos that pop up here and or there pop up. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.